unlike uh, you know, my opponents, I, I definitely would carry on with carbon capture and storage. Uh, this is not an experiment. Uh, it, it's done in other jurisdictions. As a matter of fact, Shell, the, the same mother company of Shell Canada, is very much engaged in this in, in Holland, and, and now they're getting into greenhouse industry because they use it as a feedstock uh, for greenhouses. You know, they have a lot of excess heat, they have carbon, all you do is you add light, and, and that's all you need to grow food and vegetables in greenhouses. And, and this carbon that we're storing right now could be feedstock for many, many other industries uh, into the future that you and I can't even think about. Uh, now that's number one. Number two, I would carry on with carbon levies if we are to meet our 2020 self-imposed targets, uh, we need to carry on um, uh, with those levies and convert those dollars into research development and commercialization of new technologies that will allow us to extract more of our resources with less environmental impact. And lastly, I would not allow Ottawa and Washington to be setting our environmental standards. I will uh, make sure that the regulation is reasonable uh, so that we uh, spend money on uh on, on things that matter. I know lots of times I hear that the uh, companies have to do 100 tests when there's uh, indicators for four. And uh, in, in return for that, it'll look for more research and development on uh, new technologies. Uh, and the other thing that will really make a difference is, nego is negotiate with the U.S. and not go down the, the path of further reductions unless the U.S. comes with us. Because even if Canada goes to zero, it, the change it'll make in the planet is negligible to zero, but if we bring the U.S. with us with a 10 or 20 percent reduction, we've really done something. So uh, that's what I will do is negotiate with our neighbors and make sure that we do it as a group when we reduce uh, our envi environmental footprint. We need to do. We need to phase out uh, the coal burning electricity plants uh, in this province. It's uh, one of the most obvious things that we need to do as Albertans in, in terms of reducing our greenhouse gas emissions. And it's an opportunity for us as well because these plants are um, nearing the end of their useful life and so it's a logical time uh, to do that. We also need to reduce uh, emissions on an intensity basis um, in the oil sands. Uh, we can do that and this, uh, you know, this is where technology needs to be brought to bear. Uh, we'll do that and we will specifically begin to reduce emissions. I don't favor uh, carbon taxes. I, I don't think they actually reduce emissions.